Missile range comparison of China China has hostile relations with a few countries and most of these involve territorial disputes. Let us mention the possible threats or enemies of China based on world history. The following are few nations hostile to the Chinese. India China beat India in Sino-Indian War in 1962 over a territorial dispute that remains to this day. Currently, there is a standoff involving Indian and Chinese troops in the Doklam region. Vietnam The Chinese fought a war with them in 1979. In recent history, the dispute over the South China Sea also causes hostile relations. Malaysia Dispute over the South China Sea Brunei also dispute over the South China Sea. Philippines dispute over the South China Sea, although this has changed under the current administration. Taiwan During the Chinese Civil War, Chiang Kai-shek's nationalist Kuomintang forces retreated to the island of Taiwan after their defeat at the hands of Mao Zedong's communist forces. South Korea South Korea is a U.S. ally and North Korea's arch enemy although North Korea receives a large amount of trade and assistance from Beijing. Japan Japan has fought China twice. After the First Sino-Japanese War, Japan took over lands in northern China. During the Second Sino-Japanese War, Japan committed many atrocities against Chinese civilians. USA Washington sees China as a business rival even though both these countries conduct a large amount of trade with each other. China has the most active and diverse ballistic missile development in the world, upgrading its missile type accuracy and range. So what will happen when China goes to war with these countries? Today, China has 12 to 14 active missiles that can be deployed against these countries with possible threats. Let's take a look at these missiles and compare them in a map with countries mentioned above and go in order of missile range. First, we have the Dongfang-15 or Hongyao-1 missile, range 600 km. At this range of the missile, China can cover whole of Taiwan. The distance between China and Taiwan is just 200 km across the East China Sea. These missiles can also reach targeted enemies in northern parts of India, half of Vietnam and half of South Korea. Now coming to medium-range missiles. Dongfang-21 and Hongyao-3 Range 2,150 km and 3,000 km respectively. These missiles have enough range to target enemies like Japan. China has the advantage in attacking neighboring countries, especially the southern part of its country like Vietnam which is on the border of Yunnan and Guangxi. Hainan Island is an island province of China at the nation's southernmost point. China has enough advantage to take down targets across South China Sea like Philippines, Brunei, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Now, what kind of missile is needed for a big-sized country like India? All the Hingyao-3 is enough to take down Indian enemies in land but not enough to cover the Indian Navy in the Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, and Indian Ocean. That is when Dongfang-26, Dongfang-4, and JL-2 ICBM are of use. These missiles have ranges of 4,000 km, 5,000 km, and 9,000 km, respectively. A 4,000 km range is enough to target Maldives, Sri Lanka, Andaman, and Nicobar Island from the Himalayan border side of India. JL 2 is a submarine based ballistic missile that can cover northern India, parts of USA, and Alaska. Lastly, we have the United States' main country. China comes second in longest range ICBMs, and these are Dongfang 31, 11,700 km, Dongfang 5, 13,000 km, and Dongfang 41, 15,000 km. These missiles can target enemies anywhere in continents like Asia, Australia, and Africa. The distance between eastern China and mainland of the United States is approximately 8,000 to 10,000 km. These missiles have speed range of Mach 20 to Mach 25 and can reach the United States across the North Pacific Ocean in less than minutes or an hour. 
So guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to hit that notification and that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.